Uh, should I be into the or t just to me? Okay. You know, just before we get going, I just want to before you, any questions or anything like that. I just want to I just want to say this. Obviously, this was a tragedy, and um, and I'd like to do whatever I can to offer you know to help out in whatever whatever I hope that I can with a memorial service or you know or a tribute. Uh, if you need me to get out there and be the face of it, you know, I can do that. And gladly. And not the not the tragedy, not the face of the tragedy. I, I mean, but you know the uh, the uh, the the face of the of the mor the mourning, the contrite face. Of the, I mean, not contrition because there is there's no fault and there's no blame, but the the face of the the mourning. I gladly. If if that's something you need. I mean, if you wanted to be, you know, some sort of double act with with him, that'd be fine too. I mean, not like having Costello thing. I'm, that's not ex that's not at all what I what I mean. That sounds terrible. Double act. I'm sorry. That's not the words I should have used. I apologize. It's not. Uh, I don't know. If, are we on, are we on the record yet? There is no record. We are. We are. Okay. No. Okay. I would I would like that. Uh, stricken from the record, the part about the Abbott Costello. No, it's okay. You can just go ahead and strike that from the record. Nothing is on the record. You know, just put a line through that. This is an interview. I didn't mean to say that about the double act. That sounded crass. Uh, do you think I could get uh, just a glass of water? Or... Feel free to run it by him if you haven't already. Just you know, run it by him, see what he thinks. If I'd be, I just want to. I'd like to go on the record to say that I'd be willing. Have you, have you, have you talked to him yet? Is he here? Boy, you just really, you just don't think that something like that can happen in the modern age, you know? There are things in place to prevent it, you know, like a series of uh, fail-safes or triggers that wouldn't allow such a thing to happen. Or that people won't respond with this desperate to desire to save themselves. Their better natures will take over and people will uh, act altruistically. I don't know, maybe save other people while saving themselves. What we saw in there, that was, that was... It was hideous, it was terrible. I mean, the behavior of people. I mean, you can't call it despicable. Despicable as a human trait. And, the, and these people, they weren't humans anymore. They were animals. Just animals, trapped animals trying to save themselves, doing whatever they had to do to survive. That was... I'm, I'm sure it's gonna hit the papers as fast and already, you know, it's a high profile location. I can see the headlines already. 100 die in studio fire. 100 die in studio fire. The Los Angeles morgues. 170. 170? One hundred and seventy. That's more than I thought. By seventy. You know, people are going to want to blame someone. You know, had you know a lamb or a you know goat or whatever. But obviously, eyes are going to turn to us because we made it out. What do they say on Law and Order? Look at the boyfriend. And in this and in this instance, I'm like the boyfriend here. I and mean, put yourself in there. You know, the everything's just a normal day. It's just a normal day. We're all in there and everything's moving. And all of a sudden then there's a sound in the distance. And you don't really pay any attention because it's just a sound. Like a Tesla arc that's right. And it's an unusual sound, but you know. It's that sort of noise and that, you know, perks up a couple of years and people start looking around a little bit, you know. And it's electricity, but it's really, it's a, it's a, it's a spark. And then that acrid smell of burnt plastic just hits your nose and you, know, you start hearing a few yells, and the, and the yells become a little bit louder, and then... Next thing you know, there's a mob of people, and they are panicking, and they are starting to move as one. You start to panic, too. The crowd moves, the crowd panics. You start to panic, too. I mean, I don't know, you probably would have. I mean, maybe not you, because because you have situational training. I do. And it kicks in when a crisis hits, but it not does. us. We had, you know, we don't. You know, if you... Stunt classes. They gave us a, uh, we had to take a gun safety course at the beginning of the job. Uh, on the first day, they take you around for your safety layout and they show you, well, here's a door and here's a set of stairs that goes somewhere and here's where the fire extinguishers are and this is what you do, you know. Then why didn't you go get the fire extinguisher? Oh, I mean, you don't, you don't pay attention. And you're trying to like get to know the other people and 
You have to build a camaraderie very fast. I don't know if you've been a part of something that's like an ensemble. Uh, what are you, what are you writing down? I mean, you can understand why there was panic. The smell, the dark, no one knows what's going on. And when that crowd moves, you just move with it as fast as you can. And I don't know what he's telling you, but he did some shit. And I think it's probably my responsibility to let you know. Uh, pushing isn't what I'm going to say because that, uh, that is too light. You know, he was shoving, like real, real schoolyard shoving and yelling too. And bringing up his place on the call sheet. Bringing up his place on the call sheet saying like, you know, you know, top 10, they're saying top 10 need to get out of here first. It's like this fire is somehow uh, equivalent to a lunch line. Like his life is objectively more valuable than an electrician or a camera assistant. And as he, and as he passed me. As he passed, our eyes met and, and I saw a devil, a Diablo and his eyes rolling back into his head like a, the ecstasy of a shark about to feast. And I'm sure that in your line of work, that you've seen that change in someone, that turn where a human just turns into something else, but saw it in his eyes. And it was clear he was not going to be stopped. So I'm still very thirsty. Do you think that I could get just a little bit more water? And I don't know, maybe it's been there all along and it was dormant, you know, and if it wasn't today with the pushing and the shoving all of those poor people out of the way, screaming about how he was above the line, then maybe tomorrow, it would have come out at a grocery store or a, a market or at a shop. There he unloads, you know, where it all comes out, just spilling, spilling out all, all this pent up anger and evil. I don't know. Maybe it's in all of us. I mean, not me, you know, of course, but. Have you talked to him yet? No, not yet. Hmm. Well, when you do, I'm sure that he's going to have a few things to say about my behavior. And I can assure you that they aren't true. Patently not true. I just followed him. I, I, I saw a hole. And like a weak man, I followed. Like a weak man, I followed. And there will be a penance for that morally, universally. For that weakness, that cowardice that, that I, I followed. And for that, I will pay. And uh, I'll be paying for that for, for a while in my life. It'll weigh on me as I move forward from this for him in prison, but you know, for me, just in my home or out, out in the world. Um, so if you need me to sign something. Your, your pen, my pen, I brought a pen. They, uh, he made me leave it outside and took my shoelaces. Um, I'd like, gotta remember to get those. And again, I am happy to participate in whatever uh, remembrance or vigil that the production wants to put on. As being one of the only two surviving members of the production, I think it would be fitting, and, and the only one not in prison, so I actually, actually it would probably be just then not a, not a two-man thing. I guess in that case it would be more of a... One-person present, it just a solo. Not a one-man show, like a one-man act. Uh, just by myself. A one person remembers, not just a remembrance of one person, just the one person leading the remembrance for the many uh, who, who passed.